Genshin Character Misconceptions Part 12, Candice. Now Candice is a new character so I'll only be talking about a misconception about her mechanics. Candice's ultimate gives you a Hydro infusion to your weapon allowing your normal attacks to be imbued with Hydro. With every other infusion in the game currently like Chongyun, C6 Bennett, Kaza, C6 and Kaching, what would happen is that all the time Pyro would be the dominant one. But now with Candice, she overtakes Bennett's Pyro infusion. And a lot of people seem to think this is some sort of infusion priority, but that's not what is actually happening. An infusion will apply that element to your weapon and if you mix multiple infusions, the more effective one will overtake. Pyro damage breaks cryo shields, so when you use a cryo and pyro infusion, the pyro one will win. Hydro damage breaks a pyro shield, so when you have a pyro and hydro infusion, the hydro will win. And that's why when you combine all three of the infusions, they will constantly cycle through each other in this order. 